Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Joel Irway with dailyfeexamprep.com and in today's video we are going to be talking about the law of signs. So if you're following along with the general FE exam format uh, specification, we are going to be in the mathematics and advanced engineering mathematics topic with specific reference to the analytic geometry and tr trigonometry uh, section. So let's jump right into today's problem. Today's problem is uh, is asking what is the height of the building given the following? Okay, so um, our options are 13, 9.2, 12, or 7.5. Now what we've got today is uh, basically we've got, um, uh, if you were to be surveying any sort of uh, any sort of building or site, basically what you do, what what they do is they they uh, they mark a point and they shoot uh, a couple reference spots and, and basically take the angles of where they're standing and where they uh, where they are with reference to their reference point. Okay, so what we've got here is a building over here on the right, which I've marked as building height um, and variable A. And uh, we've got a couple angles and we've got a couple of missing angles and we are given one distance okay so uh, distance between A to D is 15 feet now if you're to apply this to a real-life situation so basically somebody would start at this point D and they would shoot uh, shoot their survey tool um, I'm not a surveyor I just kind of know uh, know how it works but they would basically mark their point and take measurement of the angle that they are to the reference point um, so the reference point is probably this point D up here, I'm assuming. So anyway, um, and they would take uh, take the angle. So they would take this 42 degree angle of uh, shooting at the top of the building. Okay, then they would walk over here. They would walk 15 feet. They would measure how far they walked, and they'd shoot that same point up here and take note of that angle, which is now 20 degrees. So uh, that's kind of how this problem is laid out, and we are going to solve for the height of the building, uh, like I said, using the law of sine. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first step that we want to do is we want to solve for any missing angles that we can uh, that we can find uh, just by simply solving for the sum of um, the sum of the total angles of a of a single triangle, which we know the sum of all the angles of a single triangle is going to be 180 degrees. So uh, let's solve for x and y angles x and y first, because to be honest, we I don't even think we can use the uh, I haven't tried it, but I, I don't think we can use uh, the law of sines yet without solving for those. So um, let's do that real quick because those are really simple. So we know let's take a look at triangle um, uh, DBC, which is going to be actually I didn't mark this, but this is going to be that top point here is point B. So let's solve for X, which we know is going to be angle X equals 180 degrees minus uh, 90 degrees, which is angle C, minus 42 degrees, which is going to be angle D, and that is going, and that is going to equal 48 degrees. Okay, so we know that angle X is going to be 48 degrees. Okay, so let's solve for angle Y now. Now, angle Y, we're going to analyze it as the um, as the ABC, the outermost triangle. And even though angle Y is split right right through um, right through angle A, um, triangle ABC, we can still solve for it because we know that um, basically angle B, that large angle, is going to equal angle X plus Y. So um, we can solve for angle Y because it's very, very simple. So let's let's go ahead and solve for it. Um, angle Y is equal to um, basically uh, 180 degrees, which is the sum of all the angles, minus angle C, which is 90 degrees, minus angle A, which is 20 degrees, uh, minus uh, angle B. And it's basically just going to be minus angle X because angle B is X plus Y. So we're going to subtract angle X and that will give us um, angle Y. So angle X is 48 degrees. Now we know that angle B is equal to X plus Y. Okay, so if you just go ahead and, uh, and input there, um, 
<clears throat> input that into the formula, you can you can break that down and figure out how to solve angle y. But that's the uh, that's the simplistic form. So we know that angle y, after working that all out, is 22 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the law of sines to solve for side db. Now, I know that we should solve for side db first because it'll give us the uh, the quickest way to uh, basically complete this d. Uh, B C triangle, which will then give us a right-hand triangle, which we can use the general um, sine cosine formulas to solve for side A. Okay, so I want to get to that side, and the way that we do that is we analyze triangle A D B and find that we've got okay two angles of one side. Okay, that now we know that we can use the law of sines to solve for it. So if you want to find the law of sines formula, it is located on page 19 of your NCEES supplied reference handbook and located right here, Law of Signs. So let's go ahead and apply that to our problem right now. So what we've got is basically um, side DB is equal to the sine of 20 degrees all over side DB, right? Because we got um, our angle here, which is angle A, times the opposite side, which is side DB, okay? And that is equal to sine 22 degrees over uh, 15. And again, opposite side with the angle. So angle Y, opposite side is side AD. And once you uh, basically solve for side DB, you get side DB is equal to 13.7 feet. So now we know what this side is. It's 13.7. We can go ahead and use our regular right-hand triangle formulas to solve for the missing side A. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got uh, 42 degrees here. Uh, we've got our um, our hypotenuse, and we are missing the. Um, we are missing the height of the building. So if we take the sine of 42 degrees, we know the sine of 42 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So we know that is uh, that is equal to A over 13.7. So sine 42 degrees equals opposite over 13.7. So 13.7 sine 42 equals 9.2 feet. And let's go ahead and check back and see if we've got any of those as our um, answer. And it looks like we do. So on, let's see here, looks like letter B is our answer, 9.2 feet. So, okay, hope, hopefully uh, if you were weak in the law of signs that helped clear some uh, clear some questions up, uh, be, sure to, uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with any of your other engineering friends if they might find this helpful as well. And uh, uh, be sure to check out my website, dailyfeexamprep.com for more downloadable materials. And uh, this has been Joel Irway. Stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching. Take care.